Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sea Morning Show right here on Sea Today. Yes, we're jumping up fast right here for the first talk show of the day. We're going to talk about health issue that has been affecting more and more to the young, you know, the younger generations, the youth. Diabetes, the rise in diabetes diagnosis among younger generation, particularly Gen Z's, yes. brother, has become oh. a growing concern worldwide. Yes, this is very concerning, but because of the data from the International Diabetes Federation or IDF shows that Young people are increasingly at risk of mm -hmm. diabetes, with type 1 cases rising from 1.2 million in 2021 to 1.52 million in 2022, and new cases reaching 201,000 annually. IDF also recorded 537 million diabetes cases among people aged 20 to 79, highlighting growing uh, health risk for the young yeah, generation. Yeah, I mean, the rising of the numbers, particularly not in a positive light. And joining us today, more and today, and right here in our studio, we have internist Dr. Rudy Kurniawan, who is the founder of Sobat Diabet, a community dedicated to spreading diabetes awareness and supporting prevention efforts. And we're also right here joined by Makrosin, or known as Osi, Sobat Diabet volunteer with us. Good morning. Thank you very much for being here with us, Dr. Rudy, and also Osi. It's such morning. a great pleasure. Even though this is, uh, again, you're going to give us some news and facts that probably would give us the chills, but this is mm. a discussion that needs to be done. And in regards to this, though, we've just mentioned that there are, in this recent years, there have been a hike of the numbers, especially for diabetes in younger generation or the youth. What do you think that contributes this, Dr. Rodi, and also Aussie, that contributes to this rise of numbers? Yeah, actually, back to the main problem is because of the healthy lifestyle. Okay. Many younger generation may be like, uh, do not aware how to become healthy in daily lifestyle, mm -hmm. they have like sedentary lifestyle, maybe all they are gonna do is instant way, like okay. eating instant food and just fast food. Fast food. Yeah. Like that. So it's yeah. a packed uh, lifestyle now, right? It's yes. very fast paced. So uh, I think the younger generation are more into the instant things, you know, they want fast things, yes. they want processed food, they want fast food. That's, and I think not really aware of the future, you know, because what are we doing to our body right now affects longer in the future, right? Mm -hmm. wow, that's really concerning. Because uh, yeah, you're, you're reflecting I am right I'm now really for yourself. I'm really concerned because I'm... Why don't you ask Dr. Rudin? I know, I'm, right uh, here. this is a free consultation, you know? Yes, exactly. <laughs> morning show. So, uh, Dr. Rudin, unhealthy eating habits, you know, particularly excessive yeah. sugar intake, yes. you know, uh, are significant factors in the rising of diabetes rates among Gen Z, with par practical steps can, or oh, this is a question, what practical steps can young people uh, take to reduce their sugar consumption? You know, a lot of young people, Gen Zs, millennials, they intake coffees, yeah. you know, a lot of coffees. Sweetened so, coffee. Sweetened coffee. So what do you think about this talk? Actually, we, we can find alternative. I mean, like uh, low calorie sweetener or find other alternative food that has uh, specific taste mm -hmm. that suitable for younger generation, such as kekinian in Indonesia, <laughs> yes. we call it, and we can educate them that have, having like healthy lifestyle, having a healthy food is not a bad choice. It's not taste bad. Yeah. So I mean, again, also you're mm -hmm. here as the volunteer of Asoba Diabet. Yes. I mean, the people that has been joining this community probably they want to be, they want to feel better for themselves. They want to have a healthier lifestyle. Uh -huh. And what is has been their challenges, especially for amongst the Gen Zs that you've encountered before? Well, quoting what is uh, being said by Rudy, that actually the lead of the diabetes among youngsters is about the healthy lifestyle, which is quite so not so very famous among them. Mm -hmm. So the main factors or the main challenges for them to maintain or to even to prevent the diabetes is about how they can be disciplined in maintaining the healthy lifestyle of their own. Okay. And when we are talking about the healthy lifestyle, it is not only about um, having the good quality of food, mm -hmm. but also having the regular exercise because okay. one of the factors of us in prevention of the diabetes is about um, getting active mm -hmm. like we. But um, there is one thing for sure that we always remember from CDC report last year, if I'm not mistaken, in 2021, they're quoting about um, there are around almost 4% among young adults in U.S. which is undiagnosed and later they are getting diagnosed with diabetes or 
the population about quite high among um, adults with diabetes. It is about 23% among them. So the things that also getting a challenge among youngsters is, is about having their self getting screened. Oh. Um, like what we always remember when we are talking about diabetes, it is not, it is it is growing from a zero uh, into a hundred percent of being diagnosed with diabetes, and it takes longer. So the challenge, the way I see it from the community, is about the awareness among youngsters to do that. So at the early stage of their life, yeah. so in case that they have a high risk of diabetes, they can do something mm -hmm. to interrupt uh, that kind of uh, things to get. A worsen and worsen yeah. so um, at least we can reduce the numbers of diabetes but again how to prevent it number one and number two as I said earlier maintaining healthy lifestyle and also getting active is something that commonly not so popular among them mm -hmm. as a one away to reduce the risk I think if I can take one of the words that you've just mentioned is awareness and mm -hmm. in regards to awareness dr. Rudy and what are the symptoms that potentially could be an awareness for the Gen Z's for them to, let's say, say, let's say, go to the expert like you and change of a lifestyle. What are the symptoms that they could really know, uh, notify? Okay, sadly, there is no symptoms at the uh, early stage. Yeah, that's. Uh, so if you're not say, aware, yeah. you would know. Right? <laughs> so you have to be yeah. aware first. Because you're young, you mm -hmm. felt like I'm okay, I'm healthy, I'm yes. still 20. So. So getting you know. checked early is not a bad thing at all. Getting screened right sure. away. We, we have to. We have, we have to. to. Because okay. there's no symptoms, so yes. we, we are not sure when we are getting diabetes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe this year, next year. Yeah. Right. We hope not. We hope but we can do screen it earlier because at early stage we can have like diabetes, mm -hmm. the better management that we can do. Of course. Right. Better safe than sorry, always. And to do the screening, how many times that you should do it in a year, especially for the youth, Dr. Rudy? It uh, depends on the risk, but for instance, maybe once in a year. Once, once in a year. Once a year. Yeah. Yes. It's pretty simple. You can check like blood sugar. Correct. And just check. Yes. You know, you know, sometimes people are just afraid they don't of want to the know. results, yeah. right? Yeah. So they think that I'm just young, I'm below 30, I don't need this, I'm still gonna be, I'm going to be okay, I just need to walk and run, follow whatever the most trending, <laughs> you know, workout of the day is and I'll do it. Yeah. But now we're seeing not only the Gen Z's are more the Gen Alphas right now that they're still very young, the, the children are also getting more, you know, in sizes in their mm -hmm. physical form, they're more obese. Why is that? Is that in regards to the food intake also, Dr. Rudy? Yeah, I think the most frequent things that makes that Gen Z or Gen Alpha getting like high risk of diabetes is because of the obesity yes. and the actually healthy lifestyle, yeah. of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it relates to their awareness. Right. Back to awareness because if they do not aware yeah. right. of the risk of diabetes. They, or the parents. Yes, they mm -hmm. will not yes. do anything. Yeah, because so. sometimes as parents we're like, oh, we like, oh, your kid is, your child is so cute and so <laughs> chubby, you know, because they're still six and seven. But then it will be harder for them yeah. to lose mm -hmm. the weight and being healthy at that, you know, in that yeah. age. So this is really a, a topic that we have to, you know, look into further, you know, we have to be aware. But I'm going back to Aussie right now, because I do want to know how does your community right now connect with the Gen Z's and actually educate them and managing to prevent diabetes? Well, so but yeah, but it's actually um, the core function of the community is about how we can leverage the information, raising the awareness among youth in um, combating the diabetes because actually we believe from the community that when we begin from the youth then we can reduce the numbers of uh, people with diabetes later on uh, when we understand the numbers is quite big among adults and how we do manage and in understanding or spreading the uh, what I say the campaign of, of having known diabetes at the early stages about getting close to them you know like Gen Z is something that they are keen to social Mm -hmm. And one thing for sure, we would like to maximize our social platform um, as a way of communicating the message about diabetes, the understanding about diabetes, so at least they know how to do and what to do next. And one thing for sure, because uh, Gen Z is some kind of a generation whereby, um, quote unquote, they would like to have the show and tell, we also show and tell to them in regards of, let's say we are talking about the screening, how actually the simple step that we can do the screening by simply doing the simple uh, blood uh, glucose check that can help you understand the real profile risk. Things like that are very common to them. And when we are talking about the healthy lifestyle, it is quite big and also too big paradigm. 
to discuss about what is actually the healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So we are breaking down into simple steps in understanding what is healthy lifestyle and uh, this also can help them understanding from the simple step they can take Simply like when they order the coffee with that sugar, it can also help them in preventing the diabetes from them. So, things like that. Even small stuff like that helps? Of right? course, I do believe so. Because small step and also when you are doing it in a disciplined way, that can help you. Yeah. The things about healthy lifestyle is about how you commit with the healthy lifestyle itself, mm. right? So, small step takes a big step ahead. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like you say that um, I'm doing this for the next year, yeah. I'm doing this for the couple of years, so I guess that matters. Yeah. And I'm very also very intrigued in regards to the feedback uh -huh. from you know those in, their, you know, in the communities. What were their feedback having this community together? So the way I see it, they say that it's, it's like a quite eye-opener. The reason why, because they understand diabetes is mostly for the adults, but now it is getting younger among youth is also one thing for sure. So when they say that actually um, healthy lifestyle can be managed in a simple way, they are so welcome on yes. how they can do that. And also from the, um, the fact that we share to them that actually they also understand that Okay, I don't want to make a burden for my family later on when I am adult. So I want to make an investment in a healthy way. So I'm going to do oh, it right nice. now. So this is something that I can say, you know, like Gen Z is easy to understand, easy to learn, and they are uh, keen to something new. So I do believe that the community helps them in understanding better of the diabetes. Oh, I love this positive community. Of course, but from all of the things that your community have done, what do you think uh, have been the, the most effective strategies to youngsters? Okay, uh, one thing for sure that we do as always, we are getting closer to them is one way that we can approach them better. Because the way that we connect with the adult is going to be different when we are talking about the millennials, we are talking about the Gen Z. So the strategy that we adopt with them is we are coming to them directly. We are not trying to make it like in a worsen scenario by, by saying uh, what is uh, the implication if they're not doing this because of diabetes, what is the kind of um, health saver condition that they would like to have. But we would like to spread um, the way that we can manage uh, the condition to make it better. Like healthy lifestyle is one thing that we are believing is one way to reduce the risk. So we started just by communicating it better and we work with some kind of millionaires as well. So the way we share the information is about the taste of millennials according to uh, the, the understanding of them and helping them um, having the good quality of information through social, helping them understanding it better and I believe they can do it right away from their own. So we work closely with among youngsters from our volunteers. We have some kind of couples of millennials as well inside. So we take the insight from them and we deliver it through the message, through the social platform that we have. And it's mm. great. This is like a collaboration between two generations. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely from the millennials and also from the Gen Zs. Uh, and in regards to that though, I want to ask Dr. Rudy and also Osi, please do join on in this. Um, for first, Dr. Rudy, what really initiated you to make this community uh, so about diabet? And also, if I may know, from the community itself and the volunteers, what's the age range? We were talking about there are some millennials, but there are some Gen Zs, but what is your target market, especially for this specific community? Maybe from Dr. Rudy first, that initiate you to make this community. So we are targeting for youth, the youngster, mm -hmm. because we believe that the earlier we can educate and the raising awareness from the beginning, mm -hmm it can have a good impact in the future. Yes. Because diabetes, especially type 2, it can, can be prevented. Mm -hmm. But By the sadly, earlier, right? yes. many uh, diabetes patients is uh, type 2. Okay. okay. So it sadly, so we can do it for in the early stage to educate them and raising awareness from the beginning. Because if we do it later, it will it's too late then. Yeah, yeah yes. you're trying to mitigate the problem right here. Yeah. In regards to the Soba Diabet, what is your target market mm -hmm. of age range? So the way I see it that we are getting close with the youngster. The reason why, because the information a couple of days before when we were in 2014, the first time we initiated the community, um, such kind of information about having the, the correct information of diabetes is 
not so accessible at that moment. And uh, so, so, excuse me, this is since 2014, you said? Yes. Wow, so it's been a decade. Yeah. Okay, all right. And about the target that actually we are addressing among youth, like what the doctor just said, but also lately we work with a couple of people who are already being diagnosed with diabetes. Mm -hmm. We understand uh, the other part of the managing diabetes is but how we can leverage and support them as well mm -hmm. as part of the people living with diabetes. Right. And our core communities also, we are gonna support them as much as we do. You know, like um, living with diabetes costs a lot. Mm -hmm. um, regular blood screening, apart from the medication, maintaining the healthy lifestyle, including the food and something like that. And uh, when we work with the community, we have some kind of uh, donation from the stakeholders um, to us and we try to understand what is the challenge from them in managing the diabetes. One of them is of course um, say that we are um, dealing with type 1 diabetes of the insulin uh, intake, they need some kind of health supplies then we need to um, support them as well and yeah things like that is also part of the community um, what is the spirit in, in, in terms of the social uh, partnership with them and of course the target against among the youngsters is something that we would like to have as a core function, knowing that they are going to be the next future generation. So better them, better us as well. Yeah. Oh, I love that. So sorry to chime in, since we are talking about age as well. Mm. So how early uh, should we get ourselves screened? You know, at what age? Mm. Is it like uh, at, a, at a teen age era, like 15 or coming to uh, 20 years old? So when is the best time to get yourself screened? For me, maybe Rudy can add up next. Um, I can say that it depends on how big the risk. Say that we are talking about type 1 diabetes because it is genetical. So if the family factors is quite a lot having the risk, then it can be at the earlier stage of our life. That's point number one. Knowing that there's no symptom away mm -hmm. and we will not be waiting for the symptom to come right because it's the condition getting worse. So um, what I'm trying to say is about at the earliest stage of your life, that you are doing the screening, it's gonna be better to understand the risk. Apart from any condition, like we're, we are not talking about the diabetes only. We can talk about the heart and also the other condition. All right, well, I mean, we're approaching 2024, the end of 2024, so there's a resolution to make in 2025. So, in that said, um, to conclude this, Dr. Rudin also, also, can you share with us, because you were mentioning about simplification, especially mm -hmm. for a living, a healthy lifestyle, and for us to be diabetes free. Yes. In regards to that, can you share with us, especially to the Gen Z's that is now watching, what are simple ways that can be impactful where you can have a healthy and happy life? Maybe from Dr. Rudy first. Okay, having a healthy lifestyle is not a burden. Mm -hmm. So we can have like a mindfulness that having a good food, uh, having a good activity is part of your habit. Yes. Not uh, like necessary to do that because yeah, it's just our daily life mm -hmm. for being healthy and it's for your investment in the future. Right. So if you are healthy now, healthy later and healthy in the future, we can do more impact to our generation. That's right. Great. So that was, uh, you know, great note right there, Dr. Rudy. What about you, Asi? Okay, two things from me. For those who are living with diabetes, it is also one thing. And I wish that 2025 is going to be your years because managing diabetes is 24-7, uh, having no day off, actually. Yeah. So the way you understand the diabetes better, I don't want to talk about the disease because I don't want to level us with a disease one. Mm -hmm. So understanding diabetes better help you in managing the diabetes apart from you accepting the condition. Mm. And for those who are still, you say that like, I'm in a good condition, please be mindful, taking care of yourself. Doing the healthy lifestyle is not one way um, or another. It is a discipline and it's, it is like a long life, um, the way we live. So when you start making it better with the way how you eat, it's supposed to be continuous, not only in one day, mm -hmm. upon your posting, and after that, you can just get somewhere else. <laughs> well said. Well said to both of you. Okay, before we're going to wrap up, please share with us where can we find Sobat Diabet? Uh -huh. So, we are in social. You can go in the IG, Instagram. Um, you can search by at Sobat Diabet. Okay. And also, you can go always to uh, search in the Google because we also have like a website as well. Just simply go Sobat Diabet and you'll be finding all the things around us. Perfect. That yes. is amazing. So uh, again, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ludian Ossie, for being here. Hopefully for all the folks watching at home, this conversation this morning could make you at least, you know, 
aware and we want to yeah. learn a bit about that. Reflect diabetes. on yourself. Exactly. Don't be afraid to do the screening. And with again, thank you for so about the abed because it's truly a safe haven for those who give awareness to the community, but also a safe haven to those that have diabetes mm -hmm. and then moving along life in a normal way, in a healthy and happy way. Exactly. Once again, thank, thank you, you very much for being here. And now we are set for a break, but we will return to bring you the world headlines here on the Sea Morning Show.